are going to study the face presentation how delivery takes place when the baby is in the face face presentation okay so uh, step by step we will study uh, uh, the important features uh, or important steps which are taking place in the face presentation delivery okay so there are a uh, few slides which I have uh, added in the start uh, in order to give you an overall impression and few important points um, in relation to the face presentation okay so you can see from this figure that the lie in the face presentation is longitudinal so whenever the MCQ is asked or whenever uh, an exam in talks or uh, in any viva the, uh, the question is asked that uh, what is a line face presentation that is longitudinal lie secondly the presentation presentation is cephalic longitudinal lie cephalic presentation presenting part presenting part is face you can see from the figure okay and what about the attitude the attitude you have to uh, understand okay in uh, whenever we discuss the attitude you have to remember that there is flexion of the limbs and along with the flexion of the limbs if we discuss the spine the spine is extended okay there is extension of the spine and flexion of the limbs and what is the denominator the denominator in case of the face presentation is mantum now i have written the definition of denominator as well okay the denominator is basically a body uh, landmark on the presenting part which is used to denote the position of the baby Okay, so denominated in case of the face presentation is that of momentum. Now, what about the position? Okay, position in case of the um, face uh, delivery may be right or left mantle anterior position. Okay, the baby momentum may be on the right side or may be on the left side. Okay, it depends upon the uh, situation. Means it can be on the right side and can be on the left side. It can be on any side. Okay, initially it is on the right or left mantle anterior. That is the basic position. Now presenting diameter. Basically, there are two presenting diameters. You can see in the figure that I have made the right marks on them. One is that of the bitemporal diameter, which crosses the temporal line, and uh, the another diameter is submantle pragmatic. Submantle pragmatic is nine point five centimeter. Bitemporal is eight point two centimeter. Now, how does delivery takes place? Okay, delivery. Uh, whenever you explain the delivery of face presentation in talks in viva. Uh, like the initial um, steps you have to explain as you explain in case of the normal delivery like uh, first of all I will introduce myself to the patient and I will put her in the lithotomy position proper lightning the presence of the um, uh, assistant the presence of the nurse, nurse the presence of the trolley and proper sterile techniques all these things need to be mentioned uh, which you, you do, usually do normally but here we, I will emphasize on the main points right uh, what happens in actual sense what happens that uh, the momentum of the baby when the head comes down in case of the face presentation the momentum is either on the right or the left oblique direction so here you can see that momentum is on left oblique direction but what about the shoulder shoulder will be on the opposite side like here you can see the shoulder is in the right oblique diameter okay the momentum is on left oblique diameter shoulder is on the right oblique diameter if the momentum is on the left oblique diameter the shoulder will be on the right oblique diameter or if vice versa you can understand it very well okay so that is a first step okay after that what happens that uh, we have the different uh, mechanisms uh, of the labor which takes place like in normal delivery we have engagement descent flexion internal rotation extension restitution and external rotation but here there are a few uh, differences which um, uh, I will explain in the next slide so that is just an overview okay so the first step is that of the engagement okay so first step whatever the delivery takes place first of all the head gets engaged head comes down um, the second step is that of the descent you can see uh, with the help of uterine contraction in the first stage and maternal expulsive effort in the second stage the head come down okay you can see from this figure that head is coming down and after that certain different points that there is rotation of the chain okay engagement 
the sign after that rotation is important point in case of the face presentation you have to remember this thing okay when chin reaches the pelvic floor it rotates anteriorly one it anteriorly you can see on the right side i have made that they are in a bleak uh, direction on the left side the figures show that they come or they rotate anteriorly in one eighth of direction so what happens that the chin comes behind the symphysis pubis after that what happens that there occurs the further descent and head hinges under the sub pubic arch there is occurs the twist in the neck and with the further descent the chin hinges under sub pubic arch okay and what happens next after that there occurs the flexion of the head and delivery takes place delivery occurs in this manner like first of all chin gets delivered then the face then the brow then the vertex then the occiput of the head is delivered in that in that way the delivery of the head takes place then what happens that there after the delivery of the head what ha happens that there is restitution of the head takes place in the same side means if the mentum was on the right side the restitution of the head will take place on the right side if the men the mentum was on the left side the restitution will take place on the left side and with that there occurs one eighth rotation of the shoulder anteriorly okay so that uh, that step you know already shoulder delivery first uh, anterior and then the posterior shoulder delivery takes place okay okay then the whole body gets liver after delivery of the shoulder there occurs delivery of the whole body now that that was the manto anterior means the favorable um, position what happens in manto posterior position you have to remember that posterior wall of the pelvis is larger than the anterior wall so what is the result of that there is impaction of the fetal chin so head neither gets extended neither gets flaxed no further movement takes place after that okay vaginal delivery becomes possible if chin rotates anteriorly which is very difficult only in case of the uh, adequate pelvis it takes place otherwise it doesn't take place if no rotation takes place the head remains in such position and no delivery takes place and cesarean section is recommended okay so that was all about uh, the delivery of the head in uh, face presentation